and welcome to our channel. My name is Crystal from Rosie's Closet. Angel, the Low Life LV. This is Angel. Together we are resellers. Uh, we sell on platforms like eBay and Poshmark, but we've become part of um, this boss reseller community out here in Las Vegas and awesome. across the country. Awesome. Awesome. And we've, um, we've met a friend named Diane who has been struggling, uh, battling cancer. And Katie and Vicki just put out a video yesterday um, letting us know about um, Diane's fund that she is putting up in her name or in memory of uh, for the Blind Center. And it is called the Fearless Living Fund in memory of Diane. And what Katie and Vicki did uh, was Katie decided to shave her head. So brave. <laughs> yes, very brave. Um, because Diane just started losing her hair and we just want to let her know that we're there for her, we support her, we stand behind her and what she's trying to do with her Fearless Living Fund. And so Angel has decided to shave his head. And it's because of the, it's because of Diane. It, it, a lot of it is because of Katie and Vicky, don't get me wrong. But what really, my admiration is because of Diane. Diane is right now going through something very, very serious. And instead of focusing on, or, or, or her focus is, she wants to contribute. She wants to help other people. She wants to help other people that are less fortunate than us, than, than us really in reality. And the way she stated it yesterday in that video was just mind boggling to me to like, you are so right. You are so correct. They are blind. They can't see the beautiful sunshine. They can't see the beautiful wife that I have. They can't see the handsomeness of me. <laughs> and it's just, you know, the beautifulness of, of just being able to see Mm -hmm. And when she broke it down, and I didn't know, I didn't know that these people, these these people that they go to the blind center, that some of them are homeless and some of them don't have great living conditions. So for me, that's that's not that's not right. That's not good. That's unacceptable. So um, with this, I wanted to kind of do a, a, a promotional to where you know maybe if we raise a thousand dollars then I shave my head well you know what I'm shaving my head and I want you guys to understand what she's trying to do what Diana's trying to do and what Katie and Vicky is trying to do and why we're sacrificing just a tiny bit of what she's going through to support her because people need to support each other people need to help each other people need to to be there for each other and this is so important to me that I wanted to put it on a video um, and I wanted to put the word out that we need to support the Blind Center. The Blind Center has been so awesome. I, I was only there one year. Crystal's been there two years. And these people, what they do for those people, and then what those people provide, the amazing food, the music, the, the setup, the, yeah. they just... The whole experience. The whole experience is top notch. It's like you're paying for like five star Beverly Hills, blah, blah, blah. The but catering. And the catering and, and yeah. just everything. The, 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 what Katie and Vicky have, have found with them is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I want to support Diane. I want to support the Blind Center, absolutely. And uh, Diane wants to also support the Blind Center and I'm here to help. And hey, if I gotta lose my hair, then I'm losing my hair. I don't care. Because you know what? That is more important than anything else anything else right now so let's do it <laughs> i gotta warn you okay this is how they say um, um warning um the graphic video that you're going to see right now I'll, I'll flash it on the that, that we're going to show you is i'm going to go from this you know this beautiful I gray know, hair beautiful hair to a very, very <laughs> ugly person who's... She's not ugly. I am. 
I've I've been told I'm intimidating. I've been told I'm. It's very. I'm. I've been told I'm a punk. I'm a gangbanger. <laughs> I'm a, all kinds of things like, hey man, you know, because you're gonna see I got scars all over my head <laughs> from fighting and just growing up in a bad situation in my life. You know, my, in my in my earlier life. Um, doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, but I paid the price for it. But um, I'm giving back to you, Diane. Um, honestly, the golden rule. I saw your comment. The golden rule. That is so important. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And you know what? This world will be phenomenal. You know, I've always mm -hmm. believed don't lie, don't steal, don't cheat. But that golden rule that you said too is also very important. I like that. And that's the thing that's wrong with the world today is that everybody is self-serving, self, self-serving. Self it's, it's just everything for them only. And it's not about that. I mean, my culture, I'm, I'm a different culture. I'm, I'm Native American. And we believe always protect, always always show love and always help your brother and, and your sisters out. Uh, you know, it, it, when the COVID hit, not to get too far off, but when COVID hit originally in the beginning, it was the Navajo Indians that they got this group together and what they did for their elders because they could not go to the store. They could not walk. They could not, you know, do the things that normal people can do when they're healthy is that they have this group of, 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 uh, tribal members and what they would do every single day they would bring them food they would bring them medicine they would bring them whatever or, or find out what they needed and they did that unequivocally without anything without what, what, just that's what you're supposed to do for people you're supposed to take care of people nothing else matters in this world except knowing that you take care of people and the people take care of you, the golden rule, treat each other with respect and you get the respect back. Love each other and you're gonna get the love back. Mm -hmm. And that's where I've always lived my life. There's people out there that don't like me. There's people out there that love me. And you'd be amazed what, what kind of people love me because you would think like, there's no way that Angel would ever associate with a person like that. But yeah. I treat everybody the same. I don't care your your financial status, your anything. I don't care about that. You Human really never know where people have come from or what they're dealing with at the moment. So you just have to be kind. Absolutely. I've met people that, that you know, in my brain, just being stereotypical, we had the security guard. He was an old man. He'd, 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 he'd secure our, our neighborhood driving around. And I got to know him. And he smoked a lot. And then at the time, I was actually smoking cigarettes at the time. And um, I got to know him. And uh, he was getting a little bit sicker. He's like, hey, I might have to stop doing this you know, security job. The guy was a multimillionaire. Took me to his, to his apartment. He was living in a really bad apartment. But back home, I don't know if he was in... Um, Massachusetts or Boston or somewhere, somewhere on the East Coast. Guy had a barn. He was showing pictures and then he showed me video and they showed me his kids and he showed me his family. The guy was a multimillionaire, but he was doing security, driving around just doing neighborhood security because he was bored. <laughs> but yet <laughs> but I got to know this. Friends. Yeah, and we became friends and he, he took me to his house. He used to hang out at our house all the time. All the time. He, he wanted to stop get, and check in on us. He wanted to give me a motorcycle um, just for being his friend. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't need your motorcycle. I need, I need, I need you to come back here tomorrow at, you know, 515, between 515 yeah. and 545, smoke a cigarette with me as I'm drinking a beer and let's just talk. And mm -hmm. we did that for years until we bought this house and he has passed. He has, you know, he was an older guy, smoked way too much, but and that's what I'm saying is that you never know who you're going to love and who you're going to care about or who you're going to help because that can come back. We believe, I believe 
that it comes back. You know, it, it, it's not karma, but you know, you do good for your brother and sister, your brother and sister will do good for you when you need help. And that's the, that's the way I've always believed and that's the way I believe now and I'm never gonna change and that's who I am. So let's get this. Uh, <laughs> okay, so if there's anyone that is watching right now that would like to contribute or to donate to the cause. Absolutely. Uh, there are gonna be links down below. Or shave your head. Or shave your head. <laughs> there's gonna be links down below. Um, you can click on those links and donate. Just leave a comment. Uh, it is to Vicky's PayPal or for Zelle. Um, just leave a comment or a note letting us know that you are donating to the Fearless Living Fund. And, um, you know, they'll make sure that it gets to the right to the right people where it's supposed to go. Yep. All right. So you ready to do this? Yep. Let's lift that up a little bit. And yeah. I'm not going to look good as good as Katie oh, when I get started. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm warning you. Just if you have children in the room, now's the time to let them... <laughs> Exit stage left. Exit stage left, even. You ready? I feel like I just got arrested. I'm getting a <laughs> muck shot going on. And now it's an the, interrogation. The prison system is going to shave my head. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm good. Make sure I got this. All right, shall we go right down the middle like Katie did? So you know what? No turning back. Let's let's go right down the middle. Okay, right down the middle. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> it's a new fashion statement. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, stop moving. Okay, sorry, sorry. Now, the, now, the old man, no, the you, old you need to do the cul-de-sac to where it, what it would look oh, like when I'm you. when I'm super super old. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. You have stopped this drive. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hear America's Most Wanted ringing. Uh, Colin. They found you now. They found me. It's amazing what hair does to you. Now imagine, Kitty and Vicky see what I wear. Crystal, of course, knows what I wear. If I go out in public with my head shaved, with who I wear, I'm definitely gonna get pulled over. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get harassed. Or I'm gonna have some other Gangbangers like, where are you from, eh? Hey? Where are you from? <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Who you claim? I, yeah, I claim house. I claim head of household. Sometimes single with two uh, two exemptions. I told you my knocker is pretty ugly, man. I could tell you stories. I've been I've been hit by bricks, pipes, bats, um, a shotgun barrel. Um, I've been thrown rocks at that have hit my head. I've been hit with fireworks. Wait, what? Yeah, fireworks. you know those shooting fireworks? I forget what they call them. Um, yeah, like bottle rockets or... Bottle rockets, no, the Mortars. I've been... Yeah, I've... For those, of, for those of you that don't know, I've got 13 scars on my face, technically. And then, as Chris is going to probably point out, I've got another... 
dents and scrapes and scars and <laughs> abrasions and and my brain still works I think it explains a lot but <laughs> yeah what Vicky said yeah. what's this in the back here well that explains a lot well yeah well, you're getting your explanation now oh now I get it this is why you're so retarded She feels really good. Does it? Yeah. I haven't shaved her head in a long time. Alright, I think that's about it. I, I didn't have Katie's look of, uh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you were so funny, Katie. You were like, oh. She did look a little terrified, <laughs> but I think that might have just been Vicky with the clippers. As yeah, was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. The part I coming at her with the clippers. No, the part I loved was I told you how to hold them, right? And she was holding them upside down. I'm like, oh my god, if she would have done it that way, she would have. That would have hurt. That would have hurt. hurt. Okay. Got my neck. Just make sure. I'm gonna clean it all up after. All right, people. Yeah, I look look. I look like your L.A. cholo. Yeah, white t-shirt, goatee. <laughs> but it's all gray now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a veterano. No, but uh, Diane did it for you. We love you. Hair is just hair. What you're going through is so much more uh, difficult. But you have a strong, strong strong family support and that that's awesome and for me i don't have family i don't my only family is my tribe my grandkids my my kids and crystal but i i do have another tribe and that's that's katie and vicky and this whole reseller re, uh, uh family that i've uh, got to know and it's crazy because y'all just crazy as i am and i didn't know you all were crazy and and it just kind of, it's its all kind of clicked in together. It's kind of meshed together. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I would do anything for anybody. And if I haven't proven that, I haven't shown that, then you're on the wrong club. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you all sh uh, sharing this. Uh, told you my noggin, man, I got some scars. I got some. They're back here. Yeah, I got some. You can't see that. <laughs> I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't beat up and all kinds of stuff, but. It is what it is, but right. love you, Diane. Support you, and we're gonna keep pushing through. Uh, we're thinking about making uh, some little buttons that we can start wearing, uh, so people can start, you know, kind of we'll start marketing and and help you out. We really want to help you out, right? and we love you, and you're part of that that family that I've grown to love so fast. There's some crazy people in here, and, and some very loving people in here, um, and that's why that's why I felt. That I needed to help you and I hope I'm not the first or I mean the second person to shave their head I hope that I am the second of thousands of people that will do this in in honor of your support for what you're trying to do and of course support for you thank you for letting me be a part of your life thank you everybody for watching we love you